Welcome to the Meter's Automatic Mode video tutorial. With this mode, the meter will help you optimize the timing of your detections. Let's start by positioning the device in the most suitable spot for our detection and making sure that it's properly leveled. To turn on the device, please hold down the A button, the one innermost in the meter, until the green light appears. After that, you should connect the meter via Bluetooth to the application. Let's go to the controller view and select automatic mode by clicking on mode. From this screen, you can manage the settings and features of the chosen mode. FastPad allows us to choose, for example, the laser level that allows us to check the location of the elevation where the meter will perform the survey. We recommend you keeping 10 centimeters from the path of the laser. Or you can choose to launch a compass calibration test. If calibration is needed, the The Meter app will notify you with a pop-up. In that case, you can decide to proceed with the calibration or continue with the scans, but with the wrong north indication on the map. For more details on calibration, we suggest watching the calibration video. In options, you can choose whether to keep the laser pointer off or on during automatic scanning. Now you can start the scan. The detection is performed at 360 degrees and captures 1600 points obtaining a detailed preview. If necessary, you can cancel the scan at any time by clicking on the stop button. The scan, once finished, will be automatically downloaded from the meter to allow you to view it. If any significant movement of the raised device is detected by the sensors, a motion-detected warning will appear on the screen during the download. When the scan is finished, the preview will be displayed on the screen where you can interact using the touchscreen and key controls. By pressing the Settings button at the bottom right, you can change the rotation and zoom point of the map. In this way, you can move from the red cursor to the blue meter. Select the red cursor again. With the app's main controls, you can increase or decrease the zoom and the number of points displayed for better preview control. Now let's see how to perform a multi-scan. With this function, you can combine several scans into one DXF file through the plus scan function. Once you have made a detection, make sure you do not touch the meter and use the motion keys to rotate the device head and fix an anchor point to be the reference for the additional scan. We recommend placing the anchor point on a flat surface perpendicular to the device at a distance between one and four meters. With a target, for example duct tape, we mark the position of the anchor point on the surface. Clicking on Action, the device will record it together with a set of additional reference points to the right and left. But please be careful, once accepted, the anchor point can no longer be changed. By pressing the play button, you can check the acquired anchor point. And once the verification is complete, we exit and go back to the controller screen. We press play again, moving the meter to the new position. Then click Proceed. The red laser appears and you must manually realign it to the target. Now click on Proceed again and start the new scan. A tip. For complete scans, always consider the positioning of the device, taking into account all the rooms you're going to scan and not just one single room only. Once the scan has been performed, you can choose to accept or cancel it and perform the scan again. 
If you decide to cancel it, you can repeat it, eventually changing location. Press the play button to proceed with another scan, then click proceed. The red laser will appear with which you must manually readjust to the target. Click on proceed again and start the scan. Once the scan is accepted, you can continue with the multi-scan or share it immediately and keep it in the application. As a first option, you can decide which project the scan should be assigned to. You can either create a new one specifically for storing the current detection or select one from existing ones. Choose a name for the scan. And you may also enter additional notes or comments. Now go to the Projects menu. By clicking on the folder name, you can proceed with instant sharing of the entire project by clicking on the specific button. By clicking on the right arrow, you can instead interact with individual scans and delete them. Share them by message, mail, etc. You can preview them. And if previously enabled, you can know its geolocation. The shared file is ready to be worked on a drawing software, which is not included. The generated file is multi-layer. It will therefore be split into several layers, and you can enable or disable them according to your needs. Let's try disabling all the levels to get into the details of each one. Now let's try to enable them one at a time. By enabling the meter, you will see the position of the device within the scan. By enabling data, you will find some data in the file, such as geolocation and comments entered. By enabling points, you will display which points have been captured. Disable Points Level and enable Simplify Hard. Then disable Simplify Hard and enable Simplify Medium. Let's do the same for Simplify Soft. The Simplifies are simplified representations of the detection where polylines are used instead of the acquired points, the degree of rigidity of which is indicated by the Soft, Medium, and Hard level. Please note, for multi-scans, the scans will be on different levels. This video tutorial on automatic mode has ended. Are you interested in discovering the other features of the meter? Find out more and check out the other tutorials or download the how-to guides from our website. Thanks for your attention and see you next video.